Hey gents, today we're taking a look one year later at my experience with four laps, and I don't want to pat myself on the back too much. You heard it here first. Last year when I unboxed these, I really liked the colorways, the styling, and the functionality of all of the running and workout gear. And in that time, they have been named one of GQ's favorite new brands. They were an Esquire high snobiety. They have been all over the place. You heard it here first, and now let's talk about my experience over the last year. When it comes to workout gear, workout clothing, Top priority, functionality, secondarily, price, third, styling. We'll maybe switch those two, price and styling. Uh, they're very much on the same plane. I, that's what the reason that I don't wear 10 year old, really long Nike basketball shorts is I not only like to look good at work, look, look good at home, but working out too, you can look good. One of the companies I've always really liked in this space is like Tracksmith, something that's vintage inspired and high quality clothing. And Four Laps also vintage inspired. And that's why I really like something like the colorway of the Dash Tank here, which my wife says it's weird to see me in a cutoff, but uh, I really liked it so far. So a big thing with these is all of the material is, you know, your standard, your moisture wicking and your performance and all of that. Over the last year, I have worn these every single week. I try to run three to four times a week. I wear four laps almost every single time. So I've washed them dozens of times. I've worn them uh, hundreds of times and they have not degraded nearly at all, which is kind of fascinating. I mean, I have some older pants from Lululemon and Nike and Under Armour, and they're about this, you know, they, they hold up very well. And so over the last year, Four Laps has done extremely well, but to me, they look much better than what you can get from some of the Nikes and Under Armors. I also unboxed in the last year, Bonobos Good Sport, which is their athletic line. The big thing with that is how good the things fit. But to me, the prices were that much higher for about the same quality product. And to me, these fit just as well as the Bonobo stuff. So I actually got those, I tried them out, and then I ended up sending them back just because the prices were way higher than the four lap stuff. The goal of four laps, because they do sell direct online, is to have this higher quality materials but have the more affordable prices. So you're getting the Nike quality stuff without the Nike logo, but at a better price than you would pay. I've gotten some Nike stuff from like outlets, and so the prices are lower at Nike, but also the quality is lower because they're able to get more margin out of it. But the four lap stuff, higher quality, about the same price. The shorts have been great. I wear these all the time, even if I switch out some of the shirts that I wear because I'd like to try out different, you know, some I have some bamboo shirts and some Lululemon shirts. And the even though there's a lining on the inside, it doesn't bother me at all. If anything, it helps to do some of the sweat and moisture wicking, but it's not constricting at all and it doesn't give me any sort of uh, rubbing problems. I really don't like mesh linings within swimsuits, but this is totally different. I haven't had any issues with the drawstrings. Sometimes when I wash things, the drawstrings uh, get sucked up into the waistband, and so that's been fine. I like that there's a pocket on the back with a zipper so that I can put like my hotel key a lot of times. You can also put your phone. And then within the pocket, so I wear these a lot also when I go hiking with my wife. Within the pocket, it has uh, what Bonobo's pants also have, which is this additional slot where my phone fits in perfectly, and so that keeps things a little bit more tight onto your pants. And I think they just look good. The, the colorways that they use, they have a little reflective four, four laps on the back. Shirts as well, I like the vintage inspired style. I love the colorways on these, and so I end up wearing the tank a lot more just because I like having less uh, fabric. I never had a chance to check out the silver charge tee that they offer, but even though these ones have extremely good moisture wicking and they haven't really retained any smell, the silver material also does much better for reducing the smell. And if they hold up as well as any of these other materials have, I'd be pretty impressed. Even the white on the shorts here, now I, I bought a medium and a small on these shorts. I definitely prefer the smaller sizing and it's always tough because I'm in between some things. Even the white on these shorts haven't become discolored. I ended up running last week. I cut the grass right afterwards and so they had a little bit of uh, green dirty funk to them and then when I wash them, they look really good. Four laps motto you'll see everywhere is start before you're ready. It's about getting out there, doing your first four laps and making a change in your life, which I'm a huge fan of. If you pay attention as I do to the retail market and what's going on with some brands, you'll know that Under Armour is really struggling. It does not look good for them. So if you find yourself in need of some new stuff, go ahead and check out Four Laps. I'm really looking forward to some of the new products that they have talked about coming out. If you read some of the interviews, they say they're going to try and do new products every quarter. And so I'm looking forward to checking out what they have in development because I would like to expand my collection. I don't cover many companies in the athletic space. If you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, I can start doing more. Right now I have a lot of gear from you know Lululemon, Nike, Under Armour. I run with my Allbirds. I also run with some Asics gel canos. And if you're interested in that type of thing, let me know and I'll start to take more looks. Till next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.
I think I'm having a heart attack, another full blown arrest of the cardiac. Gotta keep it under control, cause this whole thing's gonna bring me down. Bring me six feet under the ground, under the ground. You take me with you as I go down, cause I don't wanna live a day without a piece of you to keep me company. Cause I'm always having trouble with the door.